Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm in North Thailand in the Shambles Studios, uh, Chiang Mai. And uh, today, or whatever day you're looking at this, um, we're going to have a look at how to edit a, a YouTube video uh, in YouTube itself. Um, a mention of the links on the front here. On Shambles website, shambles.net, there's an area with all sorts of things about YouTube and how it can help you in your classroom or in teaching and learning. Uh, and this is my channel and I think what we'll do now is we'll go to the channel and I'll just show you the tools available where you can edit a video once you've uploaded it to YouTube itself. So let's go to my browser. So I'm on Windows, Alt Tab, shows what I've got running and it's gone to my browser and here we are. So I'm at www dot youtube dot com slash shambles guru this is my youtube channel and i'm logged in you can see it says shambles guru up there uh, and uh, i could edit this channel and change the background in fact let me just make this a little bit larger all this around the outside is wasted background really this is the bit we're going to look at so let me just on most browsers i think control and the plus sign makes it bigger there we go a bit easier to see I have 165 subscribers and uh, my videos have been looked at 215,000 times. Wow. And I think I've got over just over 300 videos in my channel. I'm surprised you can't see it up here somewhere. And down here, well, it's a normal page. You can come and play and look at your own pages. Um, actually, playlists are still a well-kept secret for many people, I think, in YouTube. And uh, as a teacher, to collect and build different channels. You can see I've got lots of them in here, one on plagiarism and copyright. Collecting uh, videos on YouTube by using their uh, playlists, it's free and it's, uh, it's brilliant. Anyway, let's say uh, I want to edit one of my videos. Let's see what options there are. Um, let's look at this one. This is one I uploaded. The last one I uploaded was a little video I did to uh, do something fancy on my name cards with augmented reality. But let's say I wanted to edit this video. If I wanted to play it, i just click on it here or i click on it here. But I want to edit it. Now, there's more than one way to do this, I think. But the way I'm going to go is I'm going to go up to here. And I'm going to go to my video manager. Come on, video manager. Let's uh, see you. Here we go. And here are my videos, all 315 of them. It's March 2012 now if you're interested. Oh, actually, the last one hasn't been posted properly yet. It's uh, the Moulin Rouge. It's uh, what like an Egyptian <laughs> done by avatars. But we're going to... Uh, oh, maybe we should edit that one. Let me edit this one. So if I go to edit here and I click on this, we get a number of different options here. Information and settings, which is what it's about, where, where was it taken, and is it... Uh, copyright protected or creative commons and, uh, what's the description all of that change there enhancements is where the editing goes of the actual video itself the video file itself and we'll look at that in a second annotations and captions these are also I'm not going to look at them now but these are also powerful tools because uh, students can annotate or leave captions or, 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 or closed captions at the bottom of uh, videos and of course once you doing annotations and captions they don't have to be in English they could be in any any language so it's a real it's a brilliant tool if you're a modern foreign language teacher and of course you can doubt <laughs> why do I say of course and here you can download your video as an mp4 file but let's look at enhancements uh, click on that and here we go you see all those four things we just looked at are now along the top here your settings, your enhancements, annotations, captions. But we're now on the uh, enhancements. I wonder why they don't say editing. Maybe enhancements is a better word. Um, so we can do several things. We've got uh, three tabs here, quick fixes, uh, effects, and audio. This one is trim, and when I click on trim, all that happens is we get some trim bars here, so I can actually have it starting there instead of where it was starting and finishing over here and I can cut the end off it, it, it or the beginning 
you can't cut in the middle as far as I understand. There are two panes here because this is the original one. The original pane is there and any changes I do are seen in this one. Actually, let me take that right the way. Let me make sure that's right at the end because I really actually don't want to edit this. So, uh, and it's just, so that's uh, the original video and that's the, the video after we've changed it. Now, nothing actually happens until we click on save. And even if you're nervous, you can save as a different name so you don't lose your original as well. So that's uh, quick quick fixes which is really that uh, editing there and uh, what else have we got here we can rotate it to the left we can rotate it to the right stabilize now if you've taken a YouTube video with a little camera and it's a bit shaky because you're holding it by hand clicking on stabilize will get rid of some of that stabilization uh, some of that shakiness um, I've tried it some things it worked well some things it didn't like with all these you need to play other thing <laughs> is playing now. Dance like an Egyptian. I've turned the sound down. Is the sound still there? <laughs> that was in Second Life. Um, you can change. You can change the uh, the brightness, the contrast, the color saturation, and the color temperature. <laughs> but if I was you, I'd click on "I'm feeling lucky," and it will do an auto tr change of the color and the sharpness of it. Uh, and usually that is a pretty good good guess. My philosophy behind all of this is to keep post-production of any video to a minimum. Uh, if I'm working with teachers or with students, I don't want to spend all day playing with editing software. I really want us to focus on what the purpose of the learning exercise is, whether it's geography or history or whatever collaborative work. I don't want it to turn into a lesson to do with uh, um, learning how to edit videos. So, if you click on the I'm feeling lucky, um, you'll see what happens there. Actually, let's see if anything does happen. Be because it was shot quite nicely, there's hardly any difference. Oh, there is a bit of difference. Look at the contrast there. There's nice shininess there, which is not quite so contrasty as on the original. But I'm not going to... Uh, let me pause that. Um, so that's to do with uh, that uh, element. Of course, here... <laughs> of course. Why do I say of course? Um, there's a button here, revert to original, if I want to, or I can just cancel, which I will do at the end of this demo. Let's look at the effects. The effects are I can make it black and white, I can make it uh, look a bit more high definition. You see there's a number of different cartoony effects, thermals, neon green. Oh, that's a weird one. I wonder what that's going to look like. Neon green. Oh, yuck, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, no, let's, uh, and I'm not going to do that. Um, and audio, let me finish on the audio tab. The audio, what is interesting is if you want to just to get rid of your audio and choose one of their files, you can. So you just choose something here, uh, one of these tracks, there's a number of soundtracks that uh, YouTube have, and you can just choose one, and it will overwrite your soundtrack so that uh, you... Uh, it, well, it throws the old one out, so you can just have a background music going over something. Um, I did... Uh, no, 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 let's just stop at that. And I think I'm actually going to revert to original here. And probably just stop. And that's it. That's a quick look round um, how you can edit YouTube videos on YouTube itself. But really, try yeah, whatever I'm doing, whether it's screencasting or videoing with my flip camera or or videoing with my iPad, and I'm using iMovie a lot for editing on my iPad, in fact. Um, whatever it is, please try and keep it to a minimum. We need to focus on what we're, we, we're learning, we're trying to learn or we're trying to teach. Um, not spend our old t whole time doing post-production. Um, better things to do with your Sunday. Have fun. <laughs>